What's going on guys? Um, Andy's back here again with another electronics review but um, today I am really um, reviewing a piece of electronics. If you watch my other videos you will see that I'm you know reviewing a keyboard, mouse, monitor, um, joystick setup or, 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 or some, some other piece of finished um, consumer electronic. Today we're gonna look at a real electronic, what I would call a real electronic, where you can actually touch the resistors and chips and things like that. Um, what we're looking at, oh, 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 before I start, I apologize that this is my mic right now. Um, I really wanted to do this video today and my mic stand broke, so my microphone is actually sitting on the table, so probably when I'm doing this, I'm assuming, I didn't take, uh, taste it, uh, look at it, but um, it's, it's probably taking all the noise in. I apologize for that, but I, I really wanted to do this video before I actually played with this board. Um, okay, this is the Z board. Uh, it is made by Digilent. It has a Xilinx FPGA, which has been stuffed in a um, system on chip. And the system on chip actually has, uh, I think it has a dual arm Cortex A9, uh, which we can take a look at in a second. The box is really nice so far. I really like it. It has like Z board right there. Um, let's open this up and see what's inside. Um, okay. We have an important notice. Uh, it's a voucher that I am entitled to a Xilinx software design tool product. Probably IAC or Vivara. I'm not sure. I don't need it. I, I actually have a full license from my work. And this guy seems like a bunch of brochures. Things we can buy, IO modules, interconnects, how the board looks like. Um, oh, getting started. We will do this on a different video that I will actually start the board up. And uh, I mean, I may start up right now, but I'm not going to go through the boot process or anything like that. But we could actually put something, um, we, could, we could load the operating system on it and, and see how the programmable logic actually works. Okay, so this is not that important. Actually, it is important, not important for a video. And voila, there is, yeah, it was Vivaro. It was an ISC, which is good. Well, it is ISC as well. I think it's both. Um, I don't need to open this. I really don't need it. It does come with the software, which is really nice because um, these guys are about five, six gigs each or more. You don't really, I mean, it takes a while to download them if you're not on a really good internet connection. And if you're especially not in a country like United States or Korea or, or something like that where internet speeds are, um, fairly low. This will actually come in really handy. I really appreciate companies when they actually send you the software. I mean, man, again, if you watch my other videos, I'm very anal about other things like, you know, the type of the box and how things are packaged and everything like that. Software is another thing. Don't cheap out on the software. This thing doesn't cost you anything. Just put it in there. Anyway, um, let's continue. This is the board. You can see it, but let's do the uh, less exciting part. The the white box usually has um, power modules and cables with everything. I need to eat more spinach. Oh, there is a came with a flash card. There it is, four gig SD card. Some cable, an adapter. Let's open it up. It is, looks like micro USB B to female USB A, I think. And why do I know that? I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, there's another USB cable. Man, you guys are loving me opening these packages, showing me all these cables. Ah, micro USB to male uh, USB. This is uh, for our connection to the computer, more than likely. And there is a power adapter, which usually in other boards that I had, I actually had um, other uh, vigilant boards, and they didn't come with any power adapters or anything like that. It will just come with a... Uh... Oh, look. These guys really know what they're doing. A European adapter. It comes with a European adapter. If you wanted to use this thing on Europe. Of course not. I know. Obviously, they sent the same box to Europe as well, but it's good to have. And holy moly, look at the size of this thing. This is the power adapter um, slash probably transformer, more than likely, 110-220, made by Powertron Electronics Corporation, 100-240 volts. This thing is big. This thing is heavy. This thing is well made. 
I love male well-made stuff like it's so the plastic is good it's 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 really nice the cable is thick that this will last a long time this will give you clean power which is what you need for electronics that you usually don't get um, anyway so well I'm, I, I, I like the power adapter let's put it that way okay and that's it now the board Well, I didn't ground myself, but it came in an anti-static bag. Um, it really doesn't mean anything that it didn't come in an anti-static bag because, I mean, uh, the board, I can discharge into the board. The board doesn't have the discharge in to me. It, you know, I can easily ground. This table will probably have some sort of ground to it. But it hopefully has some sort of a protection circuitry. There's the board. So we have some standoffs, which is really nice that it came with standoffs. Other cheaper uh, boards don't come with standoffs. This is the back of the board. There is the um, SD card goes in there, more than likely. And I'm sure you can see it. There is an uh, expansion module. Very good chance that this expansion module that you see right here is a, uh, a high-speed one. Uh, I think this is uh, to connect. Because if you wanted to connect to other boards or other devices, you would use these uh, PMOD connectors and you could use the expansion little items that are uh, usually made by digital or other companies to use other peripherals with it but if you wanted to just um, high-speed data transfer there's a very good chance that you'd be using this port right here um, this looks like um, I have no idea what this is well we'll go to things that I know about uh, that's so much better there you go uh, VGA HDMI Ethernet um, ports like looks like an audio card, the back of an audio card, and let's read them. HPH out, I don't know what it is. Line out, microphone line in. There's yeah, so there's a very chance that I can actually put an an analog electrical signal in here through this three and a half millimeter jack, um, process it inside the CPU and the programmable logic area, and then maybe store it on the um, onboard flash or push it back out like I can you know right off the board I can use these things as a signal processing board which is very very nice there is USB UART right here uh, power goes in right there this is probably turn on turn off um, JTAG uh, which is nice we have two other USB ports I don't know if there's anything oh yeah this one is the middle one is UART this one is not UART I don't know if can you be micro USB and not UART I don't know. Uh, maybe a bunch of jumpers that I have no idea what they do, which is why I'm not going to mess with them. Um, and then you have your classic vigilant style: uh, two push buttons, one to program, the other one to reset the the programmable logic that's in this thing. And then you have a display. Um, it has it still has this little sticker on it. I don't know what kind of display it is. It's some kind of dot matrix something. I think. Uh, I hope I'm not. It, it does look a little bit weird. I, I don't know. I, I'm used to usually like big seven segment displays. I'm sure this can do the same thing, just maybe a little more higher, higher tech. Yeah. Um, one, two, three. I'm not going to count that right right now. Not on video at least. Um, you have some switches. Nice switches. Classic digital switches. Nothing special. Uh, you have a button eight, button nine. And you also have center, left, well, center, left, right, up, down. Um, there's a ground, so you can actually have an external ground. Uh, this is probably a clean ground, which is good. You can separate your grounds using that. There's a current sense module right there, apparently. I don't know what I will use it for. Um, I want to say that um, I don't have the schematic for this board, but one of these chips right here, um, and very good chance this one here, I mean, I may be wrong, but is an audio processing module more than likely. If you have these guys, you prob they probably have a dedicated audio processing module in here, um, but I'm not sure. So, and then the center guy, um, obviously this is not a chip. The chip is under it. I wish the um, heatsink didn't come attached to it. I wish it actually came um, so I could see. Uh, how the the system on chip on it looked like, but it's fine. It actually, this this guy's on there, so I'm, I'm not going to try to take it off. 
so uh, this is it this is your board I will make another video or two and show how this thing actually boots because there's a very good chance um, you would put the SD card in here and the SD card will actually program the microprocessor and then through USB I think on your screen you can um, log into uh, some sort of a dumb terminal or like bash looking um, something where you can you know communicate with the board without even putting any uh, user programmable logic in there so I will do that later um, this has been great I'm gonna play with this thing and then when I figure it out a little bit more I'll let you guys know take care